in today's lecture we will discuss about 1 to 2 demultiplexer this is a very basic type in the series of demultiplexers so as the name suggests 1 to 2 it means number of inputs always equal to 1 say this is i now number of outputs here 2 <coughs> and uh, 2 means 2 raised to power 1 so we also discussed when we talked about the definition part of the demultiplexer that it has a 2 raised to power and number of maximum outputs so <coughs> 2 means we name it as a D naught and D1 now number of selection lines number of selection lines 1 because always whatsoever is the power of 2 that much number of uh, selection lines so this is 1 and we denote it as uh, S naught so uh, we also know that uh, the selection lines determine which one of the these uh, two outputs which one of the two output is rooted from the input means we have only one input so this selection line decides that which particular output will be selected as the output for the given input so this is the first point that we must know second point is its a block diagram we have a, this demultiplexer 1 to 2 dmux obviously number of inputs are 1 i 2 outputs d naught and d1 only one selection line s naught and obviously one enable enable which is active at low so this is active low input these are the selection lines this is the output this is input and this is a control signal selection lines or control lines whatsoever you want it to turn third is truth table third point is truth table we have a one selection line as naught which can have only two values either zero or a one two outputs d naught d1 and obviously one enable en this can also be written as en okay so it, it is active low so this uh, will behave as active element when the enable signal is uh, zero and uh, when the enable signal is one then this won't function so whatsoever the value of s node which can be either 0 or 1 the output will always be equal to 0 and 0 but see when this active low enable is there it means the demultiplexer is functioning when s node is equal to 0 it means this input will be directed through d node so we can say that uh, 
when selection line is equal to 0 i will be directed through d node so d node is i and this is equal to 0 so this is red line so s node is equal to 0 then obviously from this and say for example when s node is equal to 1 because the second value of s node can be 1 then this input will be directed through d1 so when this uh, line is uh, s node is equal to 1 then the input will be directed through d1 and uh, nothing from uh, d node so this is the third point and uh, the fourth point is its a boolean expression which is we derive it from uh, the given truth table so for d node because we have two outputs so there will be a boolean expression for d node and there will be a boolean expression for uh, d1 as well so for boolean expression d node see for d node s node is equal to 0 so s node complement and this is i input and uh, enable signal this is also at active low so en bar so d node it will be directed through d1 for d1 s node is equal to 1 so s node input remains same and uh, this also functions when the enable is at uh, active low so this is the fourth uh, point these are the boolean expressions now fifth and uh, last important point is its a circuit diagram circuit diagram you see we got uh, two and gates this is first because these are a dot so dot means and gates and gates this is output this uh, output say d naught and this is d1 input this is i and same input is uh, directed through second so this is i is the input now for uh, selection line say this is s naught this is invert of it so for d node s naught complement so this is s naught complement and for this s naught so so this is i this is s naught this is i and this is a s naught complement so two inputs so the third one being the enable so this is enable which is active low so we are first passing it through inverter so this one and this one so these are the enable signals to both of these uh, and gates so what is the equation from this d node you see s node complement dot i dot en complement this is en say and for this s naught dot input dot enable so this is a circuit diagram and if you want to check the circuit diagram we can also check say for example when s naught is equal to 0 
now see what is the output when s node is equal to 0 then say for example this is one number this is two number and gate so when s node is equal to 0 now see this comes one so the output from first and gate one into i because this is zero so this is one means this is also active at low this is value is one this is for enable so this comes out to be i and the output that we get from second and gate as node is equal to zero so zero dot now anything because this is AND gate and we know that when one of the input of the AND gate is 0, the output is always be 0. So from here we conclude that the input that we are giving that is directed through the D node output. So because 1, 1 means D node. So from truth table also when S node is equal to 0 the input will be directed through D node and we can now check this diagram with the help of uh, this checking criteria so this is uh, all about uh, one basic type of uh, demultiplexer so in next uh, lecture we will discuss about uh, 1 to 4 demultiplexer thank you very much